Hey everybody, okay, so this video, we're calling it a redneck science project. And the reason why is we're gonna do, uh, we're not scientists, but we are gonna wind up taking the 50 BMG and do a little bit experimenting. You see a while back, we posted a video right here on our channel that showed me taking the 50 BMG on a deer hunt and I actually wound up killing a doe, but I missed it. There were so many different comments on there. People that were claiming, well, I hit it through the eyes and I didn't. And people claiming that, well, we, we showed a different animal and I didn't. And people saying that it was impossible to accomplish that. We're fixing to have a science project and find out. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and post them below. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're here at the FTW Ranch. I was talking with Keith and he's done this video shooting at a whitetail and he killed it with a 50 cal but uh, didn't appear to have hit the animal. So we're trying to figure out what exactly happened. So we set up a couple of targets here at the range. We've got some solids, we've got some air type targets and we've got some liquids. So we want to be able to shoot this bullet within one to two inches of these different targets and see what the effects are and try to capture them on film. Now for the viewer we want to make sure you understand the bullet is not Intended to hit the target, we're trying to pass the bullet just right next to the target. So here we go. So where the uh, where that diamond is touching your the orange tape, is that is that your point of aim? Yes. All right, sounds good. I'm on it. That's a good shot. Nothing happened to the material. Let's slowly work our way closer and closer to it. Okay, so how far was it? So you were uh, an inch left of the orange tape. Okay. So let's try to aim on the right edge of the tape. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go a little closer. Okay, I got you. Okay, bottom's on. Okay, you hit the tape. All right, I can't hear anything. <laughs> so you, you hit the tape and it broke. Yep. But nothing else broke. Really? So we gotta get. Oh, got it. <laughs> I was expecting something else to break. <laughs> All right, well, that's I think, the first test. You think you can get closer without hitting it? Yep. Okay, so just edge over and just try to put the round a quarter inch beside that cinder block. Don't hit it or it goes on your invoice. <laughs> That's a good shot. Uh, too high. I think you need to bring your point of aim down. So oh, closer, okay. closer okay. to this. It might be going just over a little bit too high. So come down six inches or so. Just put the round right over the top of the table and right beside it. Okay. And then if nothing happens there, we'll go down there and check it out and see if we see any damage or any cracks. That's a good shot. Okay, now what about a balloon of air? All right, it popped it, and the, I see the hole on the left side of that red line, so the camera will tell us what happened. Uh -huh. So we may have something there. Yeah, so it looked like it popped the balloon, it popped the balloon, but I don't think it hit it. I don't think we'll it have to it. review the tape, and you'll be able to reference that line and see. That's good, that's good. Okay. Now, but it is to the left of the red line, correct? Yep. Yep. Then it couldn't have hit the balloon. No, because the balloon was not over the line. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> and that's a good shot. You missed it, and you and it blew the candle right out. The candle's out. Yep. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it's out. Look at that. <laughs> so now we just gotta find the middle ground. Line's hot. <clears throat> Y'all ready? All right, spotter's on. Ready. Not even a twitch. Right edge of the tape, Keith. What? Go for the uh, the right edge of the tape. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're on it. Everybody ready? Yep. Damn. Sure did. 
Between the tape and the melon. Can you do that? Can you hit it between the tape and the melon and the gap? I was aiming between the tape and the melon. Well, you missed. Yep, I missed. <laughs> We're trying to go between the tape and the melon. Ooh, don't get any better than that. Man, that was close. That was a good shot. Yeah, we can. That's about so close to that melon that you couldn't even ask for anything better than that. We're hot. Okay. Nice shot. Touch the red dot. Give us another one. Oh! <laughs> well, we'll have to see. Did you hit the jar or not? I don't know if I hit the jar. Well, let's go see before. The jar? I don't know. I hope. I, I, I hope not. I hope not too. If that, if there's two holes where that one bullet was, then you didn't. I don't oh. think I pulled the shot. Well, we started over on the right. We started the hard stuff, the concrete. We got no real result on that. Then we went to the candle, knocked the candle out. Yep. Uh, the air course, balloon. It's not going to take much to knock the candle no. out. Poof. That's out. The other one we got a result from was the the balloon of air. It popped. And there was no way I hit that. We nope. know that for sure. So then we moved over and we put the the gel block, the head gel block, with the uh, with the glass jar next to it. Shot right between them. I don't think we got anything on the gel, but the second shot on the glass, a pretty good explosion. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I hit the jar. <laughs> I don't think so because I don't think so. There was... There's your first hole, and then right below it. Look, well, there, the, it was. I really don't think I hit it because this red spot was right in the center and the angle in which we were up top was a little bit off to the left. So I don't think I hit the jar. We'll have to play back the video and see. But uh, if I didn't hit the jar, we're going to do some more testing tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. We'll recreate this. We didn't get a whole lot off of the water balloons, the melons, uh, the solid materials, but we will we'll take different glass jars, hard on the outside, liquid on the inside and see what the results are, so. All right, well, this was the, the balloon and the bottle test. Here's your balloon, piece of it still over here. Yeah. So we had the balloon under there. Now, did we hit this balloon? No. I don't think so. No, we did not hit the balloon. Because it was, it was right in here. And I remember you shot that. that that's the shot that hit the balloon. That oh, when it popped. popped the balloon. That one was, that's yes. right. As you can see right here with the, with the candle, I mean, it just went right above the flame and snuffed that candle out just like that. Right, that hit the top of the tape, I think, yeah. So yep. right there, so it definitely, the bullet didn't hit the flame. No, the bullet it, uh, did not. It was just whatever the, the air going by knocked it out. Yep, okay. Any cracks on this stuff? I don't, I don't think see so. a crack anywhere in that glass. I believe this would have been about your path of your, you know, the general, your bullets would have been flying about like that. Yeah, you start talking about a 750 grain projectile going right that direction. That's about it. That's, that's about it. And I shot one, two, three times here. And uh, as you can see, then, I mean, well, I four, shot four times. Yeah, four, yeah. Four times. And it and wouldn't it, take a whole, I mean, I feel like that'd be about uh, four that, pounds or so to push that. heavy. Okay. But uh, and, and this was actually probably the hardest thing to test. This one right here because it's so heavy. This one's not as heavy. And this, of course, this is so brittle right here that, uh, but it didn't break. So no. that's kind of an interesting test right there. I think what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to come back. We're going to get some jars, fill them up with water and set them out here and just play. I mean, we know the gun's on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what we're going to do, we're going to keep trying it, just see if we can duplicate that. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Before that, since we're wrapping up, you think we could just actually shoot all this stuff and see what happens? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay, you do that. <laughs> so this next shot we got set up, we've got, this is a whole herd of pigs. So you usually wait till you get one, two, three pigs all lined up in a line, 
and you can shoot all three of them at the same time, and that's what this shot is. We got glass, brick, brick. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, three little pick shots. Here we go. <laughs> the whole table came off the ground. <laughs> yeah, you better get it before it falls. <laughs> salad. Fruit salad. Look at that. Well, you know what's strange? I see down on the ground, the pane of glass appears not to be broken. No way. We gotta go look at that. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Magic of the BNG. Let's go. <laughs> All right, wow. here. Now we just lined up three objects: the glass, the brick, and then a center block. And look at this shot. Now this is the same piece of glass that we lined up for the very first shot, which looked just like this. Okay, and it's no wonder that when the bullet passed right next to it that it didn't break the glass because look at this the this is thick glass and the bullet just went straight through i mean that's a that's a pretty does it good still have any does it have any strength left to it no i mean, I mean can well, you I'm, uh, no it's got plenty of strength i'm not going to flex it because i mean i don't want it to shatter in my hands <laughs> but i mean that's a that's a pretty amazing deal right there it does, look at this i mean th now that is amazing okay <laughs> a 50 bmg round running through glass like that and you would think that it would just splatter like an eggshell just blow yeah. up yeah like mean, you clearly said the, the the center block did as well yeah. as the brick did of course yeah and then of course the we made some fruit salad right here of this <laughs> melon but uh you think the bullets left in here somewhere <laughs> no the bullet won't do that to me. but no this is this is pretty good and, and you know when asked how come we would wind up coming and doing this you know we got asked uh a lot of questions uh, from the video that we posted uh, shooting that deer. Right. And I mean, what we had to do, we had to find out for ourselves what the deal was. I mean, we want to find out, and the best place to do it is right here out in the Texas Hill Country at FTW. I've been out here for many, many years. And so literally, this is the best place that I know of. We're not rushed. We have perfect conditions. And Dave has been doing this a long, long time. And so he was kind enough to set it up. And uh, I mean, so far, so good. Tomorrow, we're going to be out here. We're going to be shooting some jars. So shooting next yeah. jars, see if we can create some more uh, take what here. yeah take what we learned today and then just make it even better tomorrow thank you 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 bet all right <laughs> all right that was pretty cool all right so that concludes this redneck science project and i'm sitting here wondering what did we prove here well uh, not a whole lot it's really kind of a mystery how we were able to kill that doe with a complete miss off the 50 bmg if you've got any questions or comments, if you've got some thoughts about how we were able to do that, go ahead and post them below. And while you're at it, make sure and subscribe to our channel because we've got lots more 50 BMG action coming up on our channel. Thanks for watching. So, you, should, you should always eat what you kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that one. That's pretty nasty right there. I mean, seriously. Look at that. I mean, that. That's a good, that's like a piece of liver. There you go. <laughs> Better liver. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> mm.